Good students. So we are going to start today with a new chapter. That chapter's name is Geometric Construction. We have completed chapter circles in the last lecture. So we are going to start today with Geometric Construction. Now before starting this chapter, let's recall some constructions. Now first we learn how to draw a perpendicular bisector. To draw to draw the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. You have to draw the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. Now, for example, okay, now for example, suppose if I draw a line. I draw a line. Okay. See, this is line AB of five centimeters. <clears throat> so this is line AB of five centimeters. So <clears throat> you can draw this perpendicular bisectors for any side of a triangle also. Okay. Now, for example, say this is this side of a triangle, or say this is a line segment of five centimeters. Now, if you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of this. So what you have to do is, you have to take your rounder, you have to take your rounder, and what you have to do is, you have to take more than half the distance of AB. More than half the distance of AB on your rounder. Getting this? So more than half, it can be anything. This is clear. From point A, from point A, okay, keep the tip at A, arc up and arc down. Okay, arc up and arc down. Same distance at point B. Same distance at point B. Up and see. Okay. Up and down. Okay. After that, after that, what you do is you have to join the two arcs. To join the two arcs. Now see to make it more attractive, what you can do is you can cut the arcs shorter. After that, what you have to do is you have to join the two arcs. Join the two arcs. Now, once you join the two arcs, okay, the point where it meets the line segment. Okay. It is going to bisect the line AB into two equal parts. And also it is going to make an angle of 90 degrees. It is also going to make an angle of 90 degrees. So this is the construction of perpendicular bisector of a line segment. You all can remove the screenshot of this. You all can remove the screenshot of this so that we'll move ahead to the next question. Is this clear? So let's move ahead. Now, instead of perpendicular bisector, suppose you have to draw the angle bisector of a given angle. You have to draw the angle bisector of a given angle. To draw just a minute. Draw and break here to draw the angle bisector of a given angle. So now you have to draw the angle bisector of a given angle. Now, for example, take any angle. What you have to do is you have to take any angle. Now, for example, I'm drawing the base of the angle. So this is the base of the angle I've drawn. Here this is A. Here it is B. B. 
Now, from point A, you draw the other arm. See, you'll get angle A, C, B. Sorry. C, A, B. You'll get angle C, A, B. Now, you have to draw the perp, uh, angle bisector of this one. You have to draw the angle bisector of this one. <coughs> now, what you have to do is take, take a small distance on your rounder. Take a small distance, any small distance on your rounder. Any small distance on your rounder. Keep the tip at eight. Keep the tip at eight. And just cut the arms. Cut the arms. Tip at eight and cut the arms. Is this clear? After that, check. This arc is meeting the first arm, see, the terminal arm at a given point. See, we name this point as D and the initial arm, say, at point E. Okay. So, what you have to do is you can increase the distance if you want. Okay, you can increase the distance if you want. Or you can keep the same distance. Keep the tip at D. Keep the tip at D. Cut an arc. After that, keep the tip at E. Cut one more arc. You get intersection points. You get the intersection. See, D. D. First arc. E. Second arc. This is clear. Now, what to do is you join this A with the arc where the two arcs they are meeting each other. See? So AF is the angle bisector of CAB. AF is the angle bisector of CAB. Yes, Gaurav, what is your problem, Mita? Sir, this is the beach. Which one? F. Look, what do you want to do? You have to keep the tip at D. D is on the top. It's made on the top. Look, this is the first one. Okay? And then E is on the top. This is the other one. Okay. First, D is on the top and then E is on the top. Is this clear? Yes. Yeah. You all can remove the screenshot of this. We can remove the screenshot of this so that we'll move ahead to the next topic. We can remove the screenshot of this so that we'll move ahead to the next topic. Yes. Done, everyone. So let's move ahead. Now, the most important construction which everybody should know. Because this construction is used in all the questions to draw the copy of a given angle. Okay. To draw the copy of a given angle. Very important question. To draw a copy of a given angle. You to draw the copy of a given angle. But the angle diya hai aapko. उसका डुप्लीकेट आपको बनाना है तो पहले देखो सपोज ये एंगल आपको दिया है एंगल सी ए बी ये आपको दिया है आपको इसका कॉपी बनाना है तो ये कॉपी बनाने के लिए देखो पहले आपको क्या करना है आपको पहले इसका बेस बनाना है एंगल का हमेशा पहले बेस बनाना है इसका पहले आपने क्या किया है बेस बनाया है अभी सी ए बी ये एंगल है उसका आपने बेस बनाया ये सुहाना बेटा यू कैन आस्क बेटा ये सुहाना बेटा यू कैन आस्क आई हैव नेम द लाइनर्स पी क्यू बेस एस पी क्यू 
अभी देख इमेज ब्लर आ रहा है बेटा देयर माइट बी नेटवर्क इशू फ्रॉम योर साइड विल जस्ट वेट फॉर अ मिनट सो दैट द स्क्रीन वुड गेट क्लियर ओके सर ये विल जस्ट वेट फॉर अ मिनट सोहाना हाउ इज द स्क्रीन बेटा अभी दिख रहा है बेटा सोहाना So let's move back. See, छोटा सा आर्क कट करो जो दोनों साइड को काट देगा It is going to cut the arms at point D and E. So the same distance, okay? The same distance which you have taken, the same distance which you have taken, keep at P. And just cut the, okay? Draw the. Is this clear? This is the first part of your construction. What I have done is I have kept at the A, I have cut the arc, and then the same distance I have kept at P, and I have cut the arc. Now what to do is take distance DE, take distance DE, okay, distance DE on your counter. Which distance I have taken? I have taken distance DE. Okay, I have taken distance DE on the rounder, and say. the arc which have drawn it gets pq at point l so whatever the distance you have taken on your rounder that is distance de keep at l keep at l and cut an arc keep at l and cut an arc is this clear de ka jo distance hai whatever the distance of de is that distance take it on your rounder Keep the tip at point L and just cut it across. You'll get the point of the intersection. To join that point with P, see this was point M. So join M with P. So you'll get this triangle uh, angle arc PQ. Equal to angle C. Is this clear to all the students? This is very important part because this we are going to use it in our practice set so to draw the copies of the given angles. Okay. Yes, Trupti, beta. Trupti, you can unmute and ask, beta. Trupti. Trupti, you can unmute and ask, beta. Okay, so let's move ahead. Remove the screenshot of this, and let's move ahead. So we'll move to practice set four point one. In practice set four point one. Remember, there are two type of constructions. First is when one vertex is common, and when no vertex is common. Understood. So when you'll get a vertex common. So that means the triangles which are there okay, would lie one inside the other, and when the vertex are different, when the vertex are not same, that time what you will get is you get the construction as two different triangles. Now practice set four point one. Okay. Practice set four point one. 
triangle ABC similar to triangle LMN. In triangle ABC, the triangle ABC, AB equals to 5.5 centimeters, BC equals to 6 centimeters, and CA. equals to 4.5 centimeters. Construct triangle ABC Construct triangle ABC and triangle LMN Okay Such that Triangle, oh, sorry, such that BC upon LM, uh, MN, BC upon MN is equals to 5 by 4. 5 by 4. These things are given to us. Now, when you're going to start your construction, check. Always what you do is you begin with the rough figure. Suppose I drawn strangle A, B, C, and the other figure of L, M, N. Now, in the question, in triangle A, B, C, A, B is 5.5. So I'll mark AB as 5.5 centimeters, BC as 6 centimeters, CA as 4.5 centimeters. So that means for triangle ABC, all the three sides are given to us. So now when all the three sides are given to us, you can directly construct this triangle ABC. But now in the question, it is asked construct triangle ABC and triangle LMN. But for LMN, is any value given to us? No, none of the value is given to us. So what we do is we need to find the sides of triangle LMN and we can do it. See, in the question, the first statement is triangle ABC is similar to triangle LMN. So when triangle ABC is similar to triangle LMN, what you're going to get? You'll get AB upon LM equals to BC upon MN equals to AC upon LN. Understood this? This is because of the corresponding sides of the similar triangle. This is just because of the corresponding sides of similar triangle. As the two triangles are similar, the sides would be in proportion. You get AB upon LM equals to BC upon MN equals to AC upon LN. After that, after that, what you'll do is check the ratio is given to you as 5 upon 4. So AB upon LM equals to BC upon MN equals to AC upon LN. And this is equals to 5 upon 4. We just substituted that. Now, what you will do in the next step? A, B, B, C, A, C. These values are given to us. So we'll take one, one ratio separately. So in place of A, B, I'm writing 5.5, which is given. So 5.5 upon LM equals to 5 upon 4. B, C, 6. 6 upon mn equals to 5 upon 4. And last, ac, 4.5. So 4.5 upon ln 
equals to 5 upon 4. So it is just substitute the given values. So it is just substitute the given values. Now, after that, what you will get? Come on, tell me what you will get. Can you get value of LM from this? Therefore, LM equals to, we'll cross multiply this. You get that as 5.5 .5 into 4 upon 5. You get that as 5.5 .5 into 4 upon 5. So after solving this, your answer is 4.4 centimeters. After that, MN, check, MN is 6 into 4 upon 5. So 6 into 4, 24, 24 upon 5. So 24 upon 5 will give you 4.8 centimeters. And last value of LN equals to 4.5 into 4 upon 5. So that is equals to 3.6 centimeters. We have got all the three sides of the triangle, LM, 4.4, MN, 4.8, and LN, 3.6. So whatever information we require to draw the triangle, all that information we have now. You can easily construct the two triangles. Now, first what we'll do is we'll begin with triangle ABC. We'll begin with triangle ABC. Now, once you begin with triangle ABC, what to do is you'll draw the base. You'll draw the base BC of six centimeters. So from zero to six, we'll mark the line. Zero to six, we'll mark the line. See? Point B, point C six centimeters is this clear to all is this clear to all the students next construction is constructing side ab now ab is 5.5 ab is 5.5 so on your rounder what to do is take 5.5 take 5.5 on your rounder take distance of 5.5 centimeters on your rounder keep the tip at b Keep the tip at B and set an arc. Draw a bigger arc. Okay. Draw the bigger arc. Okay. After that, other side is AC. The remaining side is AC. Now, distance of AC is 4.5 centimeters. So, take 4.5 centimeters on your rounder. Take 4.5 centimeters on your rounder. Take 4.5 centimeters on your rounder. Keep the tip at point C. Keep the tip at point C. Cut an arc. Keep the tip at point C, cut an arc. You get the intersection point of the two arcs. You can erase some part of the arc so that it looks beautiful, attractive. And this point of intersection of the two arcs, nothing but point A. Nothing but point A. Join AB. Join AC. This is the triangle ABC. Where? DC is 6, AD is 5.5, and AC is 4.5. Is this clear to all the students? Now, we have just done the first part of the question. Now, let's move ahead to the second part of the question. You have to construct triangle LMN. Now, for constructing triangle LMN, 
Again, we'll check the given parameters. I'll draw it here. Check MN 4.8. So what to do is you start with drawing the base. You start with drawing the base. 4.8. Point M, point M, four point eight centimeters. Next part is the reconstruct side LM, which is four point four. Reconstruct side MN, which is four point four. So what you will do is you will take four point four on your rounder. You will take distance four point four on your rounder. Okay. Keep the tip at M. Keep the tip at M. Better arc. The first arc always draw it big because you never know where the arc is going to meet. So what you do is you draw the first arc big enough. Now the next part is constructing side L N, which is three point six. So you take three point six on your rounder. You are going to take three point six on your rounder. You are going to take three point six on your rounder. Keep the tip at N. And cut an arc. Okay. Cut an arc. You'll get the point of intersection of the two arcs. That point of intersection is nothing but point L. And you can cut this part of the arc. Make it small. It looks attractive. So just clear. Now what you do is join. Lm and join Lm. This is the required triangle Lmn. Four point four centimeters. Three point six centimeters. These two triangles are your rough figure. The rough figure is very important. You have got marks for the rough figure, and actually your rough figure helps you to construct the triangle in a proper manner. Is this clear? It is a guide. Actually, rough figure is the guide to your construction. You all can remove the screenshot of this. You all can remove the screenshot of this so that we move ahead to the next part or the next question. So, remove the screenshot of this. Hope everybody have understood this. Now we'll move to question number two. Now what happens in question number two is you are given the vertex. Uh, in that, what happens is one vertex is common for both the triangles. So what happens is in this, your triangles are going to lie one inside the other. So to right. Now let's begin with the question. Now what is given in the question? Given triangle PQR. Triangle PQR similar to triangle LTR. Okay. And in this, in triangle PQR, in triangle PQR, we are given PQ equals to 4.2. PQ equals to 4.2, QR equals to 5.4, PR equals to 4.8. The construct triangle PQR and triangle LTR. Construct triangle PQR and triangle LTR 
such that now the proportion is given pq upon lt equals to 3 upon 4. So suppose, see now your construction starts with the rough figure. See, now all the values of triangle PQR is given. All the values of triangle PQR are given. PQ, QR, PR. Now, which side you have to take as the base? So see, from triangle PQR and triangle LTR. Okay. Which is the common vertex? Common vertex is R. So R should come in the base. Understand this. So R. And here you can take that as C. You know C. Q. Just one Q. So we substitute the value of QR or RQS. 5.4. After that this becomes point P. PQ 4.2 and PR 4.8. Now LTR is also going to lie inside this or say outside this. Now first what we'll do is first what we'll do is in your rough figure these values are given to you. So first what we'll do is we'll construct this triangle PRQ. What we'll do is we'll construct this triangle PRQ. And here in this, there is no need to find the remaining sides. Here there is no need to find the remaining sides. Understood for triangle uh, LTR. In the first case, what we had done is we had found all the remaining sides of the triangle, but here we did not find that. The construction will begin. We'll draw RQ. We'll draw RQ. 5.4 centimeters. After that, after drawing RQ 5.4 centimeters, what you do is, we'll take PR. You're going to take PR as 4.8 centimeters. PR 4.8 centimeters on your rounder. Tip at R, the tip at R, get an R, get an R. After that, 4.2 on your rounder, 4.2 on your rounder, tip at Q, get one more R. What do you have then? Get at R, first arc of 4.8 from Q, second arc of 4.2. The point of the intersection of the two arcs is point P. Join this with R. Join this with R and the point Q. The triangle PRQ is ready. So the first part of the question is done. Now what to do is, From point R, you're going to draw any acute angle. What you're going to draw is, you're going to draw any acute angle. So, not major the distance, I'm just drawing any acute angle. Understood? You can just draw any acute angle. This is very important. After that, what to do is, you have to take a small distance on your rounder, check. a small distance on your rounder, a small distance on your rounder, and you have to cut the arcs across the acute angle which you have drawn. So this is A. Okay. You have to cut the arcs on ray R A. Now, how many arcs you have to cut? 
Yes, Tina and Mina. We have to draw an acute angle with side RQ. After that, you have to take small distances on your rounder or your compass and you have to mark, say, out of this given values, three and four, whichever value is the highest value, that many arcs you have to cut across. Say, from three and four, four is the largest value, so you'll cut four arcs. So you'll keep at R. First arc, first arc, arc, second arc, third arc. Means what happens is from R, you'll cut an arc, you'll get, say, that point as R1. Get point as R1. So keep it R1, cut another arc, you'll get R2. Keep it R2, cut another arc, you'll get that as R3. Keep it R3, cut an arc. R3 cut an arc, to get that as R full. Suppose if this line does not meet, what to do? Just extend that line. Just extend that line. So I've got the four arcs R1, R2, R3, and R4. See, very simple. You need not find any value directly. In the first question, we had found all the values, but here, we need not find any value. You have to just cut the arcs from the ratio which is given. And how many arcs to be cut? So cut the arcs with the highest value. Now see, PQ. PQ is equivalent to what? 3. PQ is equivalent to 3. So what you will do is, what you will do is, you will join the third arc with point Q. Is this clear to all the students? Take this value of three is equivalent to three. Okay. So join the third R with Q. Is this clear? So that means LT is going to lie outside. So what you'll do is you'll just extend this line a bit. And extend that afterwards also. Now what to do is you have to draw a line which is parallel to R3Q. You have to draw a line which is parallel to R3Q. So by applying the property of corresponding angle, so this angle and this angle if they are equal, both the lines are parallel. So applying that property, what you will do is you will draw the angle. You draw a copy of angle R, R3Q. You will draw the copy of angle R R3Q on R4. Is this clear? See, copy of R, R3Q on vertex R4. So what you'll do is take a small distance. Keep at R3. Okay. Cut. The angle. Cut the arc. What happens is okay. I'll draw it again. So I will get confused because of this. Keep the tip at R3. Keep the tip at R3. Okay. I've cut an arc. Same. Keep the tip at R4. Same distance. Huh? Don't change the distance. Is this clear? Now, for example, name this as E and B. Name this as point E and B. For your understanding. Okay. So, what you'll do is, what you're going to do is, you're going to take Distance of AB on your rounder. Check distance of AB on your rounder. Distance of AB on your rounder. Check. Drawing copy of this angle. 
So A B on your rounder. See R four from point R four. Your line is cut across point C. So keep the tip at C. Cut an arc. Cut an arc. Okay. So this is point D. This is point D. Join R four and D. Join R four and D. Join R four and. And what you'll do is you'll just extend this line. Extend this line ahead. Okay. So you'll get R three Q. Okay, R three Q. Parallel to R four, and where it meets this point, that point is T. That point is T. That point is T. Is this clear? So you have got the second point of this triangle LTR. You've got the second point of triangle LTR. You've got R. You've got T now with you. So to get point L, again what you'll do is, again what you're going to do is, you're going to draw a copy of this angle Q. You're going to draw a copy of this angle Q at T. Okay. The same thing, corresponding angles property. So what you'll do is you'll keep. Sorry, you'll take a small distance on your rounder. You'll take a small distance on your rounder. Keep the tip at Q. Cut an arc. Same distance at T. Cut an arc. Is this clear? At Q. Cut an arc. At T. Cut an arc. Take the distance between the two arms on your rounder. Take the distance between the two arms on your rounder. Where the arc from point T. Cuts R T at that point. You are going to keep the tip and cut an arc. Is this clear? See, yeah. Where the arc drawn from T meets R T. What you will do is you will join this arc with T, and you will just extend this line P R. You will just extend this line P R. What you will do is you will join this T with the arc which you have drawn now. Just extend the line so that it meets the arc P R. Sorry, ray P R. So wherever the line which you are going to draw is going to meet is your point L. Is your point L. So. L R T is the required triangle. Also T Q R is your required triangle. Is this clear to all the students? Yes, Sachin from Nehru Nagar. Sachin from Nehru Nagar, you can ask with us. Sachin. And the other guy who's raising the hand can ask. The other students can remove the screenshot of this. The other students can remove the screenshot of this so that we'll move ahead to the next question. Sir. Yes, Vijay. Sir, we need to show steps of construction. Uh, there is no need to show the steps of construction, Vijay, for this. We can directly draw it. Yes, you can directly draw it. Okay, but make sure that your arcs are shown properly. Okay, you have to show your arcs properly. You have got marks for showing the arcs. Okay. Yeah. So let's move ahead to the next question. That is question number three. Will I remove the screenshot of this?
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ट्राइंगल आर एस टी सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल एक्स वाई से ट्राइंगल आर एस टी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल एक्स वाई से इन ट्राइंगल आर एस टी आर एस फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स एंगल आर एस टी फोर्टी डिग्रीज एस टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स ट्राइंगल आर एस टी एंड ट्राइंगल एक्स वाई सेट such that rs upon xy equals to 3 upon 5 now check again when you read the question you'll get your concepts clear rs t and xy z is there any vertex same no so that means you're going to draw the two different triangles you are going to draw the two different triangles the first you will draw give a figures the figures say rst is given so suppose st is 5.7 so write 5.7 rs 4.5 and rt now check rt is not given here the given angle rst 40 degree You an angle R S T as forty degrees. Okay. For this triangle X Y Z. Okay. None of the value of the sides is given there, so we need to find that side. Now check as triangle R S T is similar to triangle X Y Z. Okay. With this property, you'll get R S upon X Y equals to S T upon Y Z equals to R T upon X Z corresponding sides of similar triangles, and also what you'll get is angle R S T is equals to angle X Y Z. That is equals to forty degrees because RST is given to you as forty degrees, corresponding angles of similar angles. CAST. Is this clear? So the first value x y z of triangle x y z we have found it out, and that is angle y, which is forty degrees. Now check. We need y z and x y. We need y z and X Y. So we will use the ratios which would contain sides Y Z and X Y. Now, for example, R S upon X Y equals to three upon five. Then you'll get S T upon Y Z equals to three upon five. Now, out of this value of R S is given to us. So we'll get 4.5 upon x y equals to 3 upon 5, and 5.7 upon y z equals to 3 upon 5. So with help of this, can you get value of x y? Your x y is 4.5 into 5 divided by 3. And y z equals to 5.7 into 5 divided by 3. So what is the value of x y? Value of x y is 7.5 centimeters. And value of y z is 9.5 centimeters. We've got value of x y seven point five centimeters. 
value of yz as 9.5 centimeters now you can begin your construction now you can begin your construction first what you'll do is you'll draw triangle rst first you'll draw triangle rst now to draw triangle rst what you are going to do is you'll begin with the base st as 5.7 so what you will do is you'll draw the base st Five point seven. Sd five point seven centimeters. After that, check angle S is forty degrees. So you use protractor now. You use protractor. The middle point of your protractor and the arm should coincide with the side. Okay. And you will draw an angle of forty degrees. What you will do is you will draw an angle of forty degrees. Say zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. See, now my vertex is on which side? It's on the left side. So I'll begin noting the reading from the right hand side. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. This is forty degrees. Then we we'll join. We we'll join that. So this is forty. Online, sir. You've got S. You've got T. You need point R. You need point R. You've got an ray which consists this point R. So what you'll do is, from S to R, distance is four point five. From S to R, distance is four point five. So what you'll do is, you'll take distance of four point five on your rounder. Take distance of four point five on your rounder. Take distance of four point five on your rounder. Keep the tip at S. Keep the tip at S. Then an R. Then an R. Understood. This will give you point R. This will give you point R. Join that point R. Join that point R with point T. So, R S T is the required triangle. Now to the second part. Construct triangle X Y Z. Again the same thing. What you will do is draw the base Y Z. Draw the base Y Z. Draw the base Y Z. Nine point five. Y Z nine point five. Then you take your protractor, keep the midpoint of protractor at point Y, and you'll start marking forty degrees. You'll go from the right hand side of your rounder zero ten. Ah, uh, sorry, protractor zero ten twenty thirty forty. So forty degrees you have marked it. Okay, join that point with Y and extend the line. Now, you've got angle of forty degrees. You've got nine point four. You need to get this point X on the arm of angle forty degrees. So what you'll do is you're going to take. Seven point five on your rounder. You're going to take seven point five on your rounder. You're going to take the distance of seven point five on your rounder. Tip at Y. Check tip at Y. Get an arc of seven point five. Get an arc of seven point five. This will give you point X. This will give you point X. Join X with Z. Join x with z. So x y z is the required triangle. Is this clear to all the students? 
You can remove the screenshot of this. You can remove the screenshot of this for your homework. Practice set 4.1, the last question, question number four. Okay, now in question number four, what has happened is you're going to get common vertex. So you have to draw the copy of the angles. Is this clear what we had done it in the previous construction? So for today, we are going to stop our lecture here. Any difficulties? Okay. You all can ask me now. Thank you, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so no. much. Ma'am, I leave the lecture, ma'am, then? Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.